Sir Makim here, y'all. Black, black uh, thought. I was about to say black vinyl, but black thought with another Mecca Minute. This is Mecca Media Entertainment, man. Listen, I'm I'm just as touched and moved as what's been going on in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and um, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, right? Um, but I want to drop a little knowledge on what what I think has been going on, man. See, the, the question is, if you fear what you hate, and you hate what you fear, imagine what the result will be. So let me take you on a little a little tour real quick. So I'm going I'm to use the average little white dude who looks up to his father. Let's call this little white dude or this little European here in America. Let's call him Brad. So Brad is looking up to his father, right? And he sees his father as a policeman. Quite naturally, you want to mimic what your father do. You want to pretend to be your father. So your father, his father is a policeman. So that's what he want to be. So what does he do? What does he do? He, um, he tries to find everything that's interesting him pertaining to what it would take to be a policeman. So he play, he pretends to be a policeman. His mother giving police outfits for Halloween and Christmas. When dad is not there at work, he watches TV shows that's kind of wrapped around the concept of policing. Like cops. You know, remember that show Cops back in the 90s? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna eat? That one. Or even the first 48 if it's during these days. So Brad is watching all of this stuff, right? And what is he seeing? He's seeing us, black people, black men, being portrayed in these negative images. I mean, like straight up, like with guns, hiding guns. We'll use the guns. We'll drive with the guns. We'll drink and drive. We'll murder somebody. We'll kill somebody and won't tell on nobody. And we'll shoot before accident. These shows depict us in this way. So little Brad who want to be a policeman, he's sitting there and he's watching this. And unbeknownst to him, he's being conditioned, programmed to have fear uh, of these of, of us. Really, this is real. This is the psychosis of little Brad. So when little Brad finally becomes a policeman, he has that preconceived notion that I'm going to say it like this, the niggas is crazy. Okay, he used to hear stories that his dad used to come home with and tell his um, mom, you know, and he used, to, he used to eavesdrop on it and hear the stuff. So by the time Brad get there on the game and he get to be a cop and everything, he's scared. Now he finally fulfilled his dream, but what came with his dream? A nightmare. So every time Brad enters into a confrontation with one of us, his heart rate beats fast. His blood pressure is boiling over to the point of craziness of fear, right? So when he comes to the car to pull you over, he got his hand on his gun. He's already scared. And then he's fearing that. And he's fearing the confrontation of what's preconceived in his style already, right? Now, I'm not making no excuses. I'm giving you a, just one of the many thoughts and concepts that I believe we are getting killed at such a high rate here in the wilderness of North America. So when Brad comes in, or, or what happened in, um, what just happened recently, or Susan comes in, she, she, she's scared. So they shooting before action. They allowing their fear to get this dude out the way or to get this dude off of their ass if he's going to be on their ass to over um, take their um, decision on how to um, withhold this brother or, you know, to keep this brother at bay. Instead of tasing him, they, they fear is taking over, man. So what, what do we do as a people to understand that? Well, you have to understand it. That's what we have to understand. More importantly, what we're going to do is we have to be put in the position to where we know that this is real. I always ask people, what are you doing to change your community? You educate your people. A lot of people say you can be, yes, sir, no, sir, why they pull you over, no, sir, yes, sir, or whatever like that. I'm all, I'm, I'm all the way with the yes, sirs and no, sirs don't work. I'm telling you to protect yourself. And the best way to protect yourself is to know who you're dealing with. Period. Know who you're dealing with. Yes, sir, no, sir, and your hands up. It's not going to protect you. You want to almost all but don't even get involved in that situation. And the best way to do that is to have your situation taken care of, all your business taken care of. And if, and only if, they run into you and all your paperwork is right and everything. And we do know that they kill you for having your paperwork right or even reaching for your paperwork. That's fear. Okay? That is straight up fear because they're thinking you're about to pull something. So understand the nature of Brad and where he comes from and understand the fear that he has. But more importantly, understand the hate that it takes to pull the trigger. And at the same time, when you juxtapose him dealing with you at the car, stop. 
Look at how he deal with with um Jeff or Jim or Brett or some other white person. I'm just being funny with it, but he don't just pull the gun out like that. Why? Because he's not afraid. He's more comfortable because that's his people. He don't even though we got some wild TV shows that depicts Eurocentric America buckwilding and some wild stuff like forensic files and stuff like that. He still don't see them the way he see us. It's a genuine bona fide fear. Okay, now I wish I had an answer to it, but my answer is straight up.